Hey everyone, so it's that time of month again. Yeah, last month went so quickly, like it was over before I knew it. And yeah, I decided this month I was going to categorize my products. I'm doing one um, kind of product for each kind of um, beauty category. I, t I don't know how to explain it. Like for example, I'm having one foundation, one concealer, one mascara, etc. So my first favorite for the month is a moisturizer. Um, what I've been using before I put on my makeup um, and things and it's the Nivea Soft Intensive Moisturizing Cream and I have used this for such a long time I absolutely love it I have very dry skin especially down here on my kind of lower cheeks um, and this is really good it's like really thick and a little bit goes a long way it's just amazing okay my next item is a concealer and it is the NYX Concealer in a Jar, and I got this from cherryculture.com before anyone asked. Um, it's about $5 from there, 5 American dollars. And this is what it looks like inside. It's quite creamy, as you can see. Um, very kind of thick, so you have to blend it out quite a lot. Um, really good coverage though. What I use it for is covering up my red on my cheeks before I put on my liquid foundation. And I just use this with a foundation synthetic brush. And it's great. I love it. My colour is in O2 Fair. Okay, my favourite foundation of the month is, of course, Revlon Photo Ready. And this one is brand new. I haven't even opened it yet. I'm still on my first ever one that I got a few months ago, which is kind of surprising because I always thought I went through foundations quite quickly, but I haven't really for this. Um, but yeah, this is in number three, Shell. And everyone must have heard something about this you know it's just a really really nice kind of medium to full coverage foundation that's really great for every day and it's just really natural looking on your skin it has little sparkle things that don't really show up too hard out on me uh, especially when I set my foundation with a powder so this is amazing speaking of powders my favorite powder this month is one that my mum got me when she went up north um, Farmers was having a big sale or something like that, so she got me a couple of things. Um, this is the Alme Truly Lasting Color Pressed Powder, or Pressed Foundation Powder. Um, my color is in light. It's a bit too light for me, but it's really, really good. The thing that I love about this foundation is I put it on with a big kabuki brush, and I stipple it, kind of stipple it on my skin. And you can still see the dewiness from my foundation shining through. So it doesn't completely mattify my skin, which I like sometimes. I like to look, you know, fresh and a bit dewy. So this is a really good powder if you want a dewy look, but still set your foundation so it doesn't go anywhere during the day. My favorite kind of blushes, this is just one that I've been using heaps of different colors. My favorite kind of blush is this All Over Color Stick by e.l.f. And I actually really, really like these. Um, basically, it's just kind of like a cream um, blush. This colour is in Lilac Petal, and I'm wearing it today with a... Um, it's like an actual like lavender purple blush off the 10 blush palette. So I have this underneath, and the great things about these, they make you look so dewy. Um, I put them on before I set my foundation with powder. Um, they're also really good as highlights. And they also make your blush stay on all day. So they're just really great. And I'll just give you a little swatch of this. This is Lilac Petal. And it's really pale, kind of purpley pink. Um, really shiny. I really, really like these. Um, I've got about three other colours, but I actually ordered all of the colours off the e.l.f. website. And I just changed colour. <laughs> okay, I'm not changing back colour, whatever. Um, so my favourite eyeshadow of the month is one... I picked because I've used it every single day I swear to god like every day it's the most multi-purpose eyeshadow ever and it's espresso by MAC espresso it's a really dark chocolatey matte color um, today I'm actually wearing this on my crease if you can see that and then I have gray stone or something I think by MAC in the um, kind of out of V area just to darken it up but I use this on my outer V, my entire lid, on my crease, like, I love it. I've been using it every day, somewhere, on my eye. 
favourite eyeliner of the month is actually a benefit one. It's Bad Girl Lash. I think. I don't know. It's an eyeliner. Here you go. That's the little information there. You can pause it if you want to read it. Um, it's a liquid black eyeliner. And the brush just looks like this. It's just a really thin brush. And it goes on really nice. And it actually like stays. That's a really wobbly line. Fail. Um, it actually stays kind of like that shiny metallic -y kind of look. Um, it doesn't crack on my eyes or anything. It's just really good. It stays all day. Um, and you can create such, such, such a thin line with this um, eyeliner. Not like some where you can only get that kind of medium to thick line. This one goes so thin. It's really, really good. I really like it. My favourite nail polish is the one I'm wearing. It's kind of coming off more red on camera. It's actually a really corally pink colour with gold undertones. But you can't see them on camera, of course, because that just always happens. It is the brand Mode Cosmetics. I got this from Radius Pharmacy for $4. It's in the colour Solar Powered. They just have these big buckets of them, like all these different colours. Um, I've been wearing this on my fingernails for a few days now, um, since I haven't had work. And I wear it on my toes a lot, like it's just a really, really pretty colour. And since it's winter over here, I like having bright colours around. Like, it cheers me up, because I don't know about you, but winter for me is so depressing. I'm just like, ugh, all the time. So I like having a bit of colour. My favourite mascara this month is, of course, Lash Blast. I need to buy a new one. This one's pretty much empty now. This is my second one. No, third one I've had. Um, it seems to run out really fast for me, but I love it nonetheless. I'm sure everyone's heard something about this. Um, the brush just looks like this. I've yet to try the volume and lengthening Lash Blast Fusion or whatever it's called. I don't know if I'm brave enough to try it. If you have tried it, can you write what you think down below? Because I'm just really kind of like hesitant I guess you could say when I'm trying out new mascaras that I have to buy from the actual shop I can't get them online for discounted okay so I'm down to my last three items this one is my favorite lipstick and of course it's a NYX one because they're my favorite brand and pretty much they are all I wear um honey is just I don't know if I said it was honey but it's honey um honey is a really nude color looks like this it looks quite dark there. It's not that dark on my lips. What I actually do is I take some of this concealer in a jar and I like dip my finger in there like once. And I actually kind of blend it in with it on my lips. And it just lightens it up just a little bit. I'll do it again so you can see. Um, and on top of that I have been wearing this lip gloss here which is whipped by NYX. And I've probably mentioned this also. It's just a nude pink. There is the colour there just on my hand and then on top of the lipstick just there it's just really pretty I'm wearing it today um, I'm actually wearing both of the lipsticks today so that's just kind of what it looks like on my lips and my last thing that I sh thought I would show you is my favorite perfume of the month and my dad got me this for Christmas and I try not to use it too much because it's like my favorite perfume in the world and I never want to run out of it. And it's quite expensive over here. But it's DK New York Be Delicious. And the packaging is really cute but I've got heaps of dust on it. But that's what it looks like. You can see my camera. Hello. It smells like fresh crisp apples. Like it smells so fruity and so good. I love it. And I also like to mix this. It goes really well with other perfumes. I mix it with like um, Britney Spears. Like this one here, smell really good together. I almost forgot my favourite brush of the month. Um, I tweeted about this, but I have two of these and I'm actually getting another one. Like, it's in the post now. This is the Studio e.l.f. powder brush. And it looks like this. And it's dirty because I used it today. Um, but it's a flat top buffer brush and these are my favourite, favourite, favourite kinds of brushes. I have like four different kinds. Um, but I use it for my foundation. I just go like this and then I take my other one and use it for powder Sometimes when I want more coverage with my powder, but I definitely always use this for foundation But I'm on to this now. I love it. It's amazing and it doesn't soak up too much um, Product either. It's just really nice and it gives you a really good coverage and just a really nice finish So I love this 
So those are my favourites of the month. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and if you're a new viewer, please subscribe. Um, go check out my giveaway. I have it, I should have it up before this video. Um, so yeah, that's basically all. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!